Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to another video, The Daily Show. Um, we want to talk to you today about something I was talking about in yesterday's episode, which was um, The Daily Show, um, Teddy was right. Teddy, Teddy, Ted, Ted Nugent said it best. Um, I want to talk to you about something that I said in that video, but I want to talk about it on more of a in-depth level, I guess. I want to go even more in-depth, okay? Right? So you've probably been on the COVID bandwagon on one side of the fence or the other side of the fence, or maybe you've been in the middle of the fence. Right? Maybe you're like, oh, this is real, it's COVID, we've got to be scared. Or maybe you've been on the fence where it's, oh, it's not that scary, it's just like the flu, rah, rah, rah. These guys are saying this and these guys are saying that, I mean, you've, or you've been on the other side. Hey, the government's right, rah, 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 rah. we've got to listen to the government, right? I don't care what side of the fence you're on. Be what on be on the middle, be in the, be on the left side, the right side, or be in the middle. Be on that side of the fence, be on that side of the fence, or be in the middle. I don't care. What I do want to talk about is that this COVID nineteen has really brought out the best in people. <laughs> That's sarcasm. It's um, it's shown another side of people that we didn't know existed in some people. You know, for me personally. Me personally, I've had people that I that I like, I know, and I trust, um, that I that I didn't think would. Uh, I didn't know they had those kind of opinions, and I didn't know they had those kind of point of views, and I didn't know it's great because you get to see the other side of the person, so you get to you get to know that person even more. You know, when when someone when I post something and someone just just flat out disagrees for disagreeing sake, that's I don't I can't I can't. I can't interact with that because that's like I there was a couple of posts that I posted on my personal page where people were just commenting to just to to, to disagree because you know these are the kind of people that would tell you that an that an apple is an orange because the government told them that an apple is an orange when and even if they bit into it they'd still tell you the apple is an orange you know those kind of people the people that would just argue for the not argue but just disagree for this the, the the entire point of disagreeing which is i don't know why you do that okay it's fine you can disagree but you don't have to get on the same person's post all the time and disagree and disagree and disagree there's a guy here i'm currently watching on one of my friends lists who every time he posts something that he doesn't agree with this guy comes out and he does exactly the same thing. He just disagrees for the sake of disagreeing. I had to turn the notifications off the other day on that post because it just got to a point where that guy was, I just couldn't communicate with him anymore because he just, he, 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 he was missing the point. It was, it was frustrating. So I just, I don't get it, all right? That's the beautiful thing about Facebook, you know? It's an empty platform until we start putting our opinions out there. Facebook is empty. I, I didn't. I didn't really think about that until I was listening to Gary Vee speak about it, and he's correct. All these platforms are empty platforms. The only reason why they're so full of content is because we put the content out there, because we express how we feel, we express what we think, right? So what I want to talk to you about yesterday, uh, talk to you today about, which was yesterday, was herd mentality, and COVID nineteen has really shown that has really really shown psychologically how we are herd mentality creatures okay herd mentality you mean you know like sheep or like cattle or uh like a flock of birds um or whatever you know a pride of lions they're they're, they're all herd all animals Generally, I can't say all, but all most animals uh, in some way uh, 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 have herd mentality. Okay, pack of wolves. Okay, they're they're, they're very. Okay, they they look after each other. They, they you know, they, and there's different prides and different all that in in lines. You got a pride over there, a pride over there. You know, it's all it's it's crazy, isn't it? You're right. And us humans, we're very, very, very much the same. Okay? How do I know that? Because circle of influence. The circle of influence tells us that we are herd, we, we have herd mentality. You're like, what's circle of influence? Okay. Circle of influence is when 
you hang out with this group of people, you hang out with, let's say we, group, we hang out with group A, you can write this down if you want, so you hang out with group A, right, so that's your circle, group A, these people you've known for a long time and they're always doing the same things, they're always doing the same shitty jobs, they're always doing the same shitty um, after work activities like going home and, and not doing a real lot and you only see them on the weekends and, and, you, and you know, always talking shit or they're always doing this, you know, that, that circle, circle A, circle A is your circle. I've known and I've seen it, okay, because I had someone comment on my post the other day, okay, he was going fishing, which is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that, all right, because the people know that I will buy, okay, because I get very upset, not upset, but I get very, um, I get very into whatever I've posted, I get to very, I get to very, um, you know, I, I'm, I like to make sure that, you know, my point is my point, and, you know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day, your point of view is your point of view, mine, mine, it's all good, as long as we can come together at the end of the day and go, yep, I agree to disagree, or I agree to agree, or, you know, that we don't get upset about that, but some people like to do that. Some people like to just troll. Some people like to fish, okay, because they know how you're going to react, and that's okay, okay. That's that's what they do, and, that, and they add they add that humorous value in the end when you sit back and go, oh yeah, they got me to buy it. I'm a fucking idiot, righty righty right, right, okay, because that's how you should be looking at it. You shouldn't get down about it. You should just get back and go, oh yep, that was fucking funny, because I found it funny in the end. I was like, ah, oh, it's pretty funny. Good on you, Baz. You're a star. Um, in, but then you've got people who. Because what he said was because we went and got the, the new pram and a new stroller. So we got a new stroller, a new seat, a uh, capture, all that shit. But we had to go to Launceston. And he just he just put up there a central travel question mark, you know, whatever. And someone else liked that because they were thinking that, but they didn't want to say that. Yeah, in the end, it was essential travel, and it didn't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because what I consider essential travel and what you what you consider essential travel is totally different. It could be fucking further from each other. It could be totally different. You know, it might be essential that you have to go and get a magazine from the news agency. That's not essential to me, but it could be essential to you because guess what? That is a freedom of choice, and that is a freedom that you deserve to have as a human. So group A does these things, and whatever it is that, you know, they're always in the same right, they're always talking shit, they're always talking this. We're going to use, we're going to use, like, median to, to low-income earners versus high-income earners, like, millionaires and stuff, because this is the best way to exemplify it, okay? So what happens is you want to be more like circle B, Circle B's, you know, you're rich people, you've got successful business owners in your town, you've got people that are running successful restaurants, cafes, um, you know, they're successful, they've had businesses, they've had a business in the town for 50 years, three generations, whatever it may be, right? And you want to you want to do that, you want to create that, you want to be able to have a business like that, right? What do you do? Now, this is where the herd mentality comes in, right? What do you, you've got to do something, you've got to do something. You can't hang out with Group A and achieve what Group B's done. You can't do that. You can't because you've always got someone in Group A trying to tell you that you can't do it or you, you'll never do it or it's impossible or it's, it's never been done. But yet, you know there's Group B in your town. You know there's Group B in your town that have done it, that are doing it, that are successful. You've got to go and start hanging out with Group B. Do you know why? Because Group A have no idea. Because they haven't done it yet. They probably never will do it. So you now you've got to change your group, your circle of influence to group B, which therefore comes down to herd mentality, which means I've got to be more like group B. I've got to be more like circle B. What are circle B doing that I'm not doing? Oh, fucking Jeff in circle B, he gets up at, he gets up at 5 a.m. every day. He, he sits down and he, and he writes out his goals with a cup of coffee in front of him. And then... Uh, so five o'clock he does that, he gets up, you know, has his cup of coffee, writes his goals out every day. He's been doing that for the last 25 years. Uh, and then at six o'clock, he goes and goes for a run. And then after six, uh, when he gets back from his run for half an hour, he has a shower. Uh, he gets, he has something to eat. And then he goes and goes to work. And then he starts making phone calls. He starts making, doing this. He starts ordering stuff. He starts going to organize his staff. He starts going to do all this stuff. He starts doing the stuff that he's supposed to do to keep his business successful. What does the person in group A do. Group A rolls out of bed at 8 o'clock in the morning. Probably 
probably has a cup of coffee. Has probably three cups of coffee before 10 a.m. So that's right, three cups of coffee in two hours. So you've got to be more like Group B. So your herd mentality has to come in to play now because you need to be more like, you want to achieve what B is doing. So now you need to become more like a B person. So you've got to hang out with B people. You've got to hang out with those people. You've got to see what those people do. You've got to, you've got to respond and react similar ways that they do. There's no good at saying you want to be successful, but you get up at 10 o'clock in the morning every day. It's not, that's not good. You, you, need to be, you need to be up early every day. You need to have a plan. You need to make sure you action the plan. You need to make sure you go and do it. And how do you know how to do all that shit? Because you've been hanging out with Group B. If you keep hanging out with Group A, you won't do it. That herd mentality is, oh, I'll go up at 10 o'clock, have a cup of coffee, have a shower, mosey on down the shop, get some food, come home, watch Netflix, sit on my device. The very thing you're watching me on is probably a phone. The very thing. You're either watching me on a phone or a laptop. Correct? It, I, was, I was thinking about this last night and in, 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 in the process of thinking about this video. The phone or the technology that you're using can be a massive burden of pro procrastination or it can be a massive, massive influence of productivity. Just depends how you look at it. See, when you break it down, Group A probably sits on Facebook all day and just scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. Likes a post, comments a post, negative, disagree, agrees. Likes that something that you just said because you disagreed, so now we we're all on the same page. Whereas Group B, they do videos. They do podcasts. They start, they get on their laptop. They start writing books. They start, they start producing content. They start producing whatever it is they might be producing. Okay? They start telling people this is what they were doing. Just because you don't know Group B doesn't mean you can't hang out with Group B, right? Let's go into a whole other level, right? So let's say you want to be more like, you don't want to be like John who's owned a plumbing business in town for 30 plus years and he's about to hand it down to his son and it's really successful and it's really, that's weird. That, we actually have one of those guys, Palmer's Plumbing. Um, whatever, you, whatever, I don't think, they're gonna, I'm not sure if they're going to hand it down to their generation or anything, but just say that's a scenario, okay, that's the example I'm using, right, you know, you've got, you got, you know, you got the plumber, he's been around for, you know, 50 years, and he's about to hand it down to his son, and that's how you do it, Halliwell Agents is actually one of those businesses in town that we have, which is a real estate agent, and I think from memory it's at its third generation, and they will look to go to a fourth generation in roughly 15 years roughly because his boy is in my daughter's class so roughly okay so 15 years from now he'll probably look at bringing his son into the business because that's what he did that's that's the circle of influence right there that's herd mentality okay my my pop did it my dad did it my granddad did it so my great great my great great grandfather did it right my pop did it, my dad did it, now I'm doing it. That's herd mentality. Because that's the herd you're in. That's the, that's the circle. That's the circle of influence. So those guys are the ones that you're trying to imitate. They're the ones you're going to try and be like. They're the ones you want to try and not copy, but you want to you want to transcend into that sort of into that sort of being. You want to be you want to be successful. You want to be able to run the business one day. You want to be able to keep it growing. You want to make it. Uh, you want to you want to expand it. Whatever you want to do. So. You've got to you've got to stay in that circle. If you're if you're if you're a family owned business, and then you venture out into another circle of influence, you're probably going to lose interest in that business. I mean, you'll have a little bit of interest in it, but um, but you, you, your productivity and, and and your input into that business will be far less because you're in a different circle who probably doesn't have any um, doesn't have a family business doesn't have that sort of stuff so I'm just holding a burp in um, so where am I at where am I at so you've got these people whereas then you've got you've got those people that you can go and hang out with because they're in your town you can go and have a cup of coffee with them they're great people you can probably catch up and have a have a beer with them whatever it may be to get get into their into their zone of thinking you know like it really is basic stuff okay so 
But let's say you want to be like Richard Branson or you want to be like uh, Gary V or you want to be like um, whoever is out there. It's your current influence that you, you follow. I'm currently following Gary V. He's a fucking star. So get on and watch him. Share, like videos, all that sort of stuff. Get around him. He's, he's really good, really smart, really clever um, and, and really uh, very forward thinking. Um, so you, 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 how do you hang out with them people? You'd be probably thinking, well, how do I get in that circle? You know? Well, you can, because you've got a device that you're watching me on right now. You're currently in my circle because you're watching my video. You're in it. You're listening to me speak. You're listening to me express myself. You've probably listened to my other videos where I talked about political agendas and I've talked about conspiracy theories and I've talked about all other stuff. You probably don't know where, where I stand on anything. You're probably confused. You're probably like, this one just talks about a lot of stuff. And I do because, I, because I'm not afraid to get on the camera and I'm not afraid to tell people what I'm thinking and how I'm thinking. And today I'm thinking about circle of influence and herd, herd mentality. So, in saying that, that's how you get into that circle. So you find people. So you find you pick up Richard Branson books. You pick, you pick up a Gary Vee book. You, you pick up a v, Gary Vee audio. You, you get Audible and you download some books and you listen to them. If, you're not, if you can't read, like I can read, but it makes me very tired very quickly. So I tend to listen to audio more than I read the book. So at the moment, I've just restarted Trump, The Art of the Deal. Um, it's a really great book and it gives you a really great insight to Trump himself. It's a really good book. I'm not. I'm not shitting you. He. Yeah. He's a crazy fucking. He is a crazy motherfucker. But he is a very, very highly intelligent person, and he is very calculated, and he's very, very smart. Okay. He's very switched on. He. And he. And he's, You know what else he's got? He's got balls. He has fucking balls. Okay. He's not afraid to have a crack. Okay. And if. In. In. He. He will give it a go. All right. Get the book download it or buy it or do whatever you need to do to get a hold of it give it a read it's a really good book okay i'm just about to start i just started it for a second time because i probably missed something in the book that i've that i might have found valuable so now i'm immersing myself in that circle i'm immersing myself in in the president i'm immersing myself in gary v i'm immersing myself in jim rowan in zig ziglar you just grab their audio or you grab their books you grab their content and you soak it up. So instead of watching the TV and watching the news about COVID-19 and about whatever else is going on, I think, what, the Kawasaki, the Kawasaki disease thing that's in kids has, has sparked up again. Now, instead of watching all that and getting scared and getting afraid and be like, oh, I'm going to lose my job or I've just lost my job, how about, like, in Australia, we've got this really great opportunity for you to draw on your super. And if you're really smart and you really want to do something and you really want to achieve your goals, use your super. Use your super to invest in your idea. Use your, use your super to invest in a business. Use your super to create a business. Be, you know, in the, in the short term, it's really good. And in the long term, it's even better. Because now you created something in the middle of a crisis that that you didn't think was ever going to be possible. But yet you were in the middle of a crisis and now you're able to do it. Isn't that crazy, isn't it? We, we just, we've, we've done it. Okay? We're doing it. We're using, we're actually, in this house, we are currently seizing the crisis for every opportunity it's giving us. My business is growing in the middle of a crisis. I've got people messaging me, asking me, when my boot camp's coming back, how do they sign up, how much is it, when can I join, can I join, um, when is personal, can I come back, to, can I come and do some personal training with you, how much do you charge, I've got people messaging me on the daily, you know why, because I didn't succumb to the virus, I utilised the virus, I stayed open, I stayed operating, I did, I was smart, you know why I'm smarter about it now? Because I listen to my circle of influence. I listen to Gary V. I listen to Tony Robbins. Not all of his stuff, but some of it. I listen to Jim Rowan. All of his stuff. Zig Ziglar. All of his stuff. I play this stuff all the time. I listen to Trump. I listen to... Not when he does his speeches as POTUS, but Trump, the businessman. I listen to Trump. I... I I take all this information in and then I and then what I do 
is they break it down into something that I can use to achieve what I want to achieve. And that is because of the herd mentality, which is the point of the video. Herd mentality, okay? This was a prime example during COVID, okay? Successful people become successful because they copy and imitate and watch and learn other successful people. Unsuccessful people that just have a crappy job and a shitty fucking mood all day, every day, hang out with other people that have a crappy job and a shitty mood and are over life. It's a fact. That's a herd mentality. So when someone gets on Facebook next time and says, don't call me a sheep, or don't call me this, or don't call me that, don't call me a follower, we are. We are not sheep. We are humans. And we have herd mentality. It's not hard to work that out. It really isn't. Okay, if you want to be successful, I urge you to go out. If you're an Australian and you're watching this, go out, work your butt off, do what you got to do to get it done, okay? Believe in everything that you do, okay? I, I post videos all the time. I post statuses all the time. And I, I very, I've only a couple I've deleted lately because I just... I'm just sick of people being negative on my posts, okay? I really, I'm, I'm, but I'm starting to learn how to deal with that because I listen to people like Gary V. Okay, that's the point. The point is the circle. So I, I look at, I don't copy him. What I do is I take a piece of him and I, I, I take a piece of Gary V and I take a piece of me and I go, hang on, how can I make this a more... And I can take this little bit of mentality here and then translate it into something that's me and then encase it. Encase it with me that way. So, you know, right, this is what he thinks about this and this is what I think. Right, let's make that about, let's make that something that is, is, is me as a person, as how I think as a person, as how I react as a person. And then I can get better at it. Because at the end of the day, who cares? Who cares if someone disagrees with you? Who cares if someone agrees with you? Who cares? Okay? COVID-19 has proven to show people's weaknesses. It's also shown people's strengths and their adver their, their ability to, to, to thrive in adversity. This is not that bad of a, of a crisis. It really isn't. But because of herd mentality, it's being made out to be. Because people are listening to the news and then... That circle goes, oh, the news said that, right? People in my shoes don't really listen to the news. I only listen to the points that I'm interested in. So lately, I'm thinking about investing. So I've been listening more about what do you think I've been listening? What do you think I've been reading? What do you think I've been listening to? The market. That's right. I've been listening to the property market. I've been listening to what the forecast is going to look like in the next 18 months. Because not only is it going to benefit us when we go to buy a house next year, it's going to benefit us six months after we buy a house. Because then we then we can then we can get ready to invest in in the short term for a long term gain. Okay, it's about it's about it's about surrounding yourself with people that 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 want the same as what you want. If you want to sit down and have a cup of coffee and smoke darts all day at the kitchen table, that's great. That's your prerogative. That's your choice. But don't complain to people about it. If you want to, and, and those are the people you hang out with, that's great. They're probably great people. They've probably got amazing personalities and they're very friendly and they're just, they're all around great people, okay? But if you don't want that and you don't like that and you're sick of that, start hanging out with people that are in the other group, that are, that are waking up early, that are going to bed late, that's right. You got to go. To, you got to wake up earlier, but that doesn't mean you got to bed earlier. You got to go to bed later. Uh, the, um, from what I remember in reading and listening to the POTUS or Donald Trump, is I think he averages five hours of sleep a day. Five hours. It's pretty crazy, huh? No wonder he's successful. So I've been training my body lately to run off six. <laughs> I don't think I could run off five, but I'm running. I'm running off six on average most days. Most days, um, I go to bed later. I stay up and listen to the things that I need to listen to. I stay up and listen to the people I want to listen to. I stay up and take advice—not advice, but I take on board what these guys are saying. 
okay? And that's what I want you to do, all right? I want you to go out. I want you to realize that this moment in time is the time for you to be able to create whatever it is you desire. Because right now, because this is rock bottom. This is rock bottom for society. This is economic rock bottom at the moment for us Australians, okay? The property market is set to fall one third by 2022. A third to a third to one third. That's not a recipe for success. I don't know what is. If that's not that's not a if that's not a chance for you to take an opportunity at at, a, at something amazing, if you're into that sort of stuff, then you, you will just continue doing what you're doing. And then guess what? There's only one person that you can look back on and say, hey, that's my fault. That's you. That's you. There's a, there's a vehicle out there. Now, I had two choices, okay? I had two choices. I could spend $16,000 on a car, or I could spend 7800 on a car. What option do you reckon I took? One gave me one reward, which is a newer car. One option gave me two rewards, it was a, a new car, a, not new new, but new car, bigger car, spacious car, but also gave me another reward, it was a financial reward. Alright, what option do you reckon I took? I took option two, I spent $7,800 on a car, do you know why? Because it sets me up for 2022. It sets me up for 2022, and how did I work that out? Because of the people I fucking hang around with. Not physically, you don't have to hang around them physically. Hang around them. Read their books. Watch their audios. I'm going to repeat this before I leave. Watch their audios. Re read their books. Study what they do. Study how they do go about it. Understand where they came from. Understand where they started. Understand what it took for them to get there. Um, you know, you don't have to be born into a wealthy family to become a, to create a wealthy family. You don't have to. You just gotta you just gotta work at it and realise that it takes fucking time. Patience is something we are not gifted with. But it's something that we can learn to have more of if we practice it every day. That's my video. Thanks for watching. If you like them subscribe. If you don't move on on um, share like, tag, whatever it is we can do with these videos on YouTube. Um, comments, put back in some comments, I don't mind. Um, all good, all feedbacks, good feedback. Because um, you can't learn otherwise. And that's it, that's The Daily Show. The Daily Show. Your circle of influence. Herd mentality. Let's go get it. Go be successful.